The library may have many books on a topic. Rather than simply scanning the shelves of a broad subject area, it's more efficient to use LibCat, our online catalog, to search for a particular topic. LibCat can be accessed from the library's website and provides a way to quickly locate resources for your class assignments. Before using our catalog, be aware that the Mokini Library is only one library located across the 10 campus UH system from which you can borrow materials through LibCat. Be sure that your search results indicate a location of Mokini Library before heading off to the shelves to get the item. You will notice that we have several collections at the library, such as the General Collection or the Hawaiian Collection. Think of a collection as the town where the book lives. Be sure to note the collection before going to retrieve the item. Some items may have copies shelved in different collections or versions available online. The library organizes our books by subject according to a system called Library of Congress Classification, where each book is represented by a unique series of numbers and letters known as a call number. In LibCat, the call number is all on one line, but if you look at a library book, you will notice the call number on the spine is on different lines. The call number has four parts and functions like a street address to find the item on the shelves. The letter or letters on the first line represent both a broad subject area such as the N's for fine arts, Q's for science, or T's for technology, as well as narrower subjects within each class like N-A for architecture or N-D for painting. This is useful because once you find a book on your specific topic, there may be others on the same or related topics nearby. The numbers on the second line further describe the subject's subclass. For example, NA 1555 for architecture history, NC 730 for drawing technique, or ND 2590 for mural painting. If there is a decimal in the number, think of it as dollars and cents. In our example, 7343.4 is actually 7343 and 4 tenths, or 40. Here, note that 7343.3 is shelved directly after 7343.23. Next are the letters and decimal number on the third line. The letter often represents the beginning of the author's last name or the title when no author is given. And finally, if needed, the last number represents the date of publication. This may be helpful if there are identical titles but different editions shelved together. Once you have the book's call number and have found the correct town or collection within the library, use the signs on the ends of the shelves to find the correct street or shelf range where the book is shelved. In our example, N7343.4 can be found in the general collection on the lower level of the library. It is on the shelf range MT95 to NB197 because N7343 comes after the M's and before the NA's and NB's. Remember when searching for books not to overlook the book's status that may indicate whether or not it is checked out. If it is currently unavailable, note the due date. You may place a hold on the item or request a copy from another UH campus library through LibCat. For more information, see our Loans from Other Libraries video at hilo.hawaii.edu slash library slash tutorials. So now you know how to find most materials shelved in the library. Go find a good book today. And always, if you have questions, ask a librarian at mokini at hawaii.edu.